Hello, my friends. My name is Jeremy. I'm going to read from the Bible, the Word of God. I'm going to read 1 Kings 16. 1 Kings 16, uh, Basha reigns in Israel. So turn up, listen up, and focus. This is the Word of God. And the Word of the Lord came to Jehu, the son of Hanani, Hanani against Basha, saying, Since I exalted you out of the dust and made you leader over my people Israel, and you have walked in the way of Jeroboam, and have made my people Israel to sin, provoking me to anger with their sins, behold, I will utterly sweep away Basha and his house, and I will make your house like the house of Jeroboam, the son, the son of Nebat. Anyone belonging to Basha who dies in the city, the dog shall eat. And anyone of his who dies in the field, the birds of the heaven shall eat. Now the rest of the acts of Basha and what he did, and what he did and, and his might, are they not written in the book of Chronicles and the kings of Israel? <laughs> and Basha slept with his fathers and was buried at uh, Tirzah, and Elah his son reigned in his place. Moreover, the word of the Lord came by the prophet Jehu, the son of Hananiah, against Basha and his house, both because of all the evil that he did in the sight of the Lord, provoking him to anger with the works of his hands, and being like the house of Jeroboam, and also because he destroyed it. Elah reigns in Israel. This will be 8, 16, 8. In the 26th year of the Asha king of Judah, Elah, the son of Basha, began to reign over Israel in Tirzah, and he reigned two years. But his servant Zimri, commander of half his chariots, conspired against him when he was at Tirzah, drinking himself drunk in the house of Arza, who was over the household in Tirzah. Zimri came in and struck him down and killed him in the 27th year of Asha, king of Judah, and reigned in his place. When he began to reign, as soon as, as he had seated himself on the throne, he struck down all the house of Basha. He did not leave him a single male of the relatives or his friends. Thus Zimri destroyed all the house of Basha according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke against Basha by Jehu the prophet, for all the sins of Basha and the sins of Eli his son, which they sinned and which they made Israel to sin, provoking the Lord God of Israel to anger with, his, with their idols. Now the rest of the acts of Elah and all that he did are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel? I don't know. All right. Zimri reigns in Israel. This would be 15, 16, 15. All right. In the 27th year of the, uh, Asha, king of Judah, Zimri reigned seven days in... Uh, huh. He reigned seven days in Tirzah. Now the troops were encamped against uh, uh, Gibeathon, which belonged to the Philistines. And the troops were encamped. Heard it said... Zimri has conspired, and he has killed the king. Therefore all Israel made Omri the commander of the army king over Israel that day in the camp. So Omri went up from Gibeathon, and all Israel with him, and they besieged Tirzah. And when Zimri saw that the city was taken, he went into the citadel of the king's house and burned the king's house over him with fire and died. Because of his sins that he committed, doing evil in the sight of the Lord, walking in the way of Jeroboam, and for his sins which he committed, making Israel to sin, now the rest of the acts of Zimri, and the conspiracy that he made. Are they not written in the book of Chronicles of the kings of Israel? <laughs> All right. Omri reigns in Israel. So this be 21, 16, 21. Then the people of Israel were divided in two parts. Half of the people followed uh, Timni, the son of Ginnath, to make him king, and half followed Omri. But the people who followed Omri overcame the people who followed Timri, the son of Ginnath. So Timni died, and Omri became king. In the 21st year of Asa, king of Judah, Omri began to reign over Israel, and he reigned for 12 years. Six years he reigned in Tirzah. He brought, brought the hill of Samaria from Shemer for two talents of silver, and he fortified the hill and called the name of the city that he built Samaria, after the name of Shemer, the owner of the hill. So... Omri did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and did more evil than, than all who were before him. For he walked in all the way of Jeroboam and the son of Nebat, the, the son of Nebat, and in the sins that he made Israel to sin, provoking the Lord, the God of Israel, to anger by their idols. Now the rest of the acts of Omri that he did 
and the might that he showed, are they not written in the books of Chronicles of the kings of Israel? <laughs> and Omri slept with his fathers and was buried in Samaria, and Ahab his son reigned in his place. Uh, Ahab reigns in Israel. This be 1629. Alright. In the 38th year of Asa king of, wow, 38, Asa king of Judah, Ahab the son of Omri began to reign over Israel. And Ahab the same son of Omri reigned over Israel and Samaria 22 years. And Ahab the son of Omri did evil in the sight of the Lord, more than all who were before him. And as if it had been a light thing, for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, he took for his wife Je Jezebel, the daughter of Ethabah, king of the Sidonians, and went and served Baal and worshipped him. He erected an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he built in Samaria. And Ahab made an uh, Asherah. Uh-oh. Ahab did more to provoke the Lord, the God of Israel, to anger than all the kings of Israel who were ever born. In the days of Heel, yep, Heel of, of Bethel built Jericho. He laid his foundations at the cost of Arabam, Abiram, his firstborn, and set up its gates at the cost of his youngest son, Segub, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Joshua, the son of Nun. Woo, Joshua. All right, so that was 1 Kings 16, the word of God. All right, God loves you. May you always be in peace. See ya.